everyone, my name is Dr. Aaron Frank. I'm a Stanford Internal Medicine resident, and I have my hands on the UWorld MCAT prep books. These are beefy, comprehensive books, and for those of you that know and love UWorld or are interested in UWorld, I think these books could be great for you. So my wife is doing a pre-med post back and she got these books for her MCAT prep. And I gotta say, if I had these while I was prepping for the MCAT, I would totally have bought them. And just for context, I'm not taking any money for UWorld. I'm not getting any deals from UWorld. This is purely just for my experience. And I was an MCAT tutor during my gap year during medical school. I got a 514 on the MCAT. And so I hope to share a little bit on the pros and cons and whether you think these books would be worth it for you or not for your MCAT prep. So these UWorld books, you get the MCAT general chemistry book. You get the, there's a physics book. There is a beefy bio book here. Uh, there was a even beefier biochem book. There is a really beefy orgo book. I mean, it's on the MCAT. I don't know if it's this much on the MCAT, uh, but if you want everything to know, it's probably in that book. And there are these two cars books. There's um, there's this cars kind of critical and reasoning skill. It's in these like kind of passage paragraph forms. And there's a smaller passage book. And then lastly, there is a behavioral sciences for psych soci. It's smaller, but it seems like it also has uh, everything that you need to know for psychiatry, sociology, conformity, obedience, social behavior, um, and everything in between. So I will be going through essentially in this video, uh, what is in the books generally, the pricing at the moment, um, some of the pros and cons and how and when to use them. I'm about to go on swing shift, so I wanted to get this kind of general overview video done. And then I'll do some more specifics in the coming weeks. So what is in the books? It really seems like all these books are basically longer versions of their question stem answers. So for those who aren't familiar, UWorld is like the best, the, the cream of the crop for all of board exam preparations. We use it for um, the board exam prep when you're in medical school. And I used UWorld MCAT back in 2019. I got a 514 at that time. So I think it worked out for me and I think it could work out for you. And I recommended it for those that I've um, tutored for the MCAT as well. So in the books, there is a chem book, there is a physics book, there's a bio book, there's a bio chem book, there's a orgo, there is behavioral sciences, and there's, it seems like there's two cars books. And all of them are pretty beefy, I gotta say. So the gen chem book, you can kind of just see the thickness here. Gen chem has, about 350 questions, 350 pages. Physics is, you can see right here, physics is about 280 pages. Bio is a, this is a thick one. This has about 600 pages. Biochem also is a big one, has 620 or so pages. Orgo is pretty big as well. I mean, it is on the MCAT, I don't know if it's, it's uh, 590, pages worth of the MCAT, but it's there if you want it fully consistent with everything. The behavioral sciences is a little bit smaller, it seems like, it's about 240. And then there's this CARS prep book that it seems like they go through different passages in much more of a, a board preparation style way. Going through like, here's this paragraph, how do you think through this? They highlight a couple different sections. Um, this is this seems pretty good. It's about 350 pages or so. And then there's also this like mini cars critical reasoning passage book. Um, it seems like for those who are familiar with UWorld, it seems like they're really great thought out explanations. And it's something that I would have wanted when I was prepping for the MCAT because when you do practice problems through the MCAT or your step exams, it kind of would have been nice to have a book. So you can actually like have it read. Here's this, here's this table. We're going from like, you know, lower, uh, um, smaller atomic radius to a larger atomic radius, etc. And they lay it out really well and they're fantastic UWorld explanations. A lot of different concept checks as well. You know, what is the error in these structures? They kind of seem like basic discrete, discrete questions that you might have on the MCAT. So I think all in all, the explanations are really well. So that's generally what's in the books. And let me just show you, this is what you're getting when you buy the physical books. So here are all the MCAT UWorld books right here. There are 
a lot of pages in these books. Also get the digital copy as well. My wife really likes it because she's using it in conjunction with her postback right now. Okay, so we can kind of go through how you could buy them and interested or take a quick look. So here is the UWorld site. I, I love this, uh, these sentences right here. It's interactive books beyond anything you've ever seen. I gotta say, pretty good. When I did my MCAT prep, I was using a Kaplan review book series. I thought it was generally good. They were a little short, which was nice because I was going, I was using it going into my dedicated period, but it wasn't, it didn't have everything that you needed. And I think if you're looking for a one-stop shop and you have enough time to go through these books, I'll go into who, how do you, you know, whom this might be for. Um, I, I think this is a good option. So let's see what this video is. Okay. True. True. Hmm. Okay. So if you wanted to go here, so it seems like the print and digital, so you get the actual books, is $289. My wife has the digital access, and it seems like it's essentially the books in a digital form with the videos tied in, and then also questions through that as well. But what's important though is that this doesn't come with the UWorld QBank. So, um, and so I just wanted to kind of go through these because these are the ones that they're showing on their site. So I didn't want to show any of the copyrighted material in the book, but this is exactly what each page is. And so if you're really looking for super high yield, very detailed, maybe a little bit too detailed on your physiology, chem phys, biochem, orgo, this is the U world that you know and love from their, all their questions. And so if you want it in a, like a book form and that works for you, I really recommend that. So a big thing also that I think works well in the digital age, especially if you learn well with digital type of books is that the way that they use interactive experience. My wife, when she's using it right now, just in chemistry, she essentially does 30 minutes a day of U world interactive online. So if she's talking about orbitals, she does the U world interactive orbital section, and it essentially keeps it up to date like this. Each section for UWorld has these really great practice questions, which are like the cream of the crop, tippity top, best MCAT uh, questions out there. And you can keep track of it in this nice little lesson section here. So let's talk about the pricing. And this is one of the things that is the unfortunate annoyances with the MCAT in that it is expensive. If you look online, there are tons of different uh, preparation courses for the MCAT. There's Kaplan, there's Princeton Review, there's individual tutors, there's UWorld, there's different forms of UWorld. So the thing that um, the thing that's important about this UWorld, like the book set, although is great, it does not come with the 3000 MCAT level questions. And this is, this is the full QBank. So if you ever say like, oh, I'm doing my UWorld practice exams or practice questions, they're coming from these MCAT level questions. So if you just bought the book um, and you just wanted the books, it's $289. It comes with, it seems like 450 questions, which is a good amount. And so if you're just starting pre-med and somehow you had $289 lying around and you wanted books and a digital course to go with you throughout your pre-med time, I think this could be a good option. But if you're looking then to start your dedicated MCAT time and you have the test in three months, you'll probably need to do the more expensive. I don't know if you need to do this core prep course. You could probably do the UWorld book set and then buy a separate um, uh, specific MCAT questions for like six months or a year. So there are different sort of ways to do it. But if you really wanted like a book in a digital way, then I think getting the, this specific MCAT UWorld book set would be well, um, will be good as well. Um, I didn't realize that these high yield video lessons are only for um, this $999. They have videos typically in MCAT questions, but you have to go through them. I don't know how helpful they would be. I think my wife, all she got was just this. Maybe she got the core prep one because she has questions as well, but she doesn't have the one for the video and she likes reading in the graphics there because the graphics are like in this section, right? So it's really, they're always with great photos. Uh, um, as you know, if you've done any UWorld questions, their graphics are fantastic. So questions that you have and, and different things in the book look like this. It's all the high yield, high level stuff that you want. And so I think if you're looking for um, just like the books, this seems like a great option, especially comparing to the different forms of MCAT prep material out there. So that's essentially what is in the books and the pricing at the moment. So I think when we're talking about the pros and cons for this type of review material, 
goes hand in hand with how and when to use them. So, the pros. So much info. There are tons and tons and tons of pages. We're talking three to five to 600 pages for all of these individual review books. So if you're looking for all the info, these books have them. Another pro is this is UWorld. Um, for anyone who is prepped for the MCAT, prepped for step one, USMLE exams, um, which is the test that you take in med school, and then also as a first year intern, UWorld is like the best that everyone uses. And so if you're looking for the best explanations, in my opinion, the best graphics, in my opinion, the most high yield, uh, UWorld is the, is the place to go. Uh, I also did a Kaplan review course when I was in my post back program prior to the MCAT, which I liked generally, but I think if these UWorld books were an option then, I probably would have gotten this as well. Another pro for this are the graphics. So if you do any of the UWorld questions, you know how fantastic these graphics are. Uh, the graphics for UWorld are so exceptional. Their explanations are so well, and so the graphics plus the explanations in these books make them top tier, in my opinion, to get a high score on the MCAT. Another pro is book plus digital. Yes, the digital is only, it seems like, uh, available for six months at like the initial buy, but the books you have forever. And so if you're starting your pre-med journey, you're a year or two in, and you're not gonna take the MCAT for a year or two, you're starting a pre-med post back. I think having these books available whenever you need them um, is a really great opportunity cost. And although $289 is expensive, generally on the MCAT prep, that is on the lower-ish side, uh, the whole price of MCAT things is a whole different discussion, but um, I think the availability of this is really great. So the cons, and this kind of goes into how and when to use them, so much info. If you are going into your MCAT dedicated, you're taking the MCAT in a month, taking the MCAT in one week, maybe two months, I think there's too much to get through. We're talking about thousands of pages and graphics. It's too much to get through at such a quick speed. So if you were a month out, two weeks out, two months out, maybe, I would just then instead go straight to the question bank and get moving because you're not gonna have time to really be able to use this book to the fullest advantage. The cons also are, kind of goes in with the graphics and the explanations. They're fantastic, but there's a ton. And so again, if you're only able to skim through it because you have to test really soon, I think it's too much info if it's too quick for the exam, then to actually like buy this and use it for the full advantage. I think also, if you really wanted the digital aspect of the book, this is a negative because it seems like you have to keep buying it to have the digital aspect. Yes, you have the books forever, but digitally you probably have to keep resubscribing or repaying, which can get expensive after some period of time. So who do I think based on these pros and cons, these books are fantastic for? These are great for um, someone starting a pre-med post back, someone I would say three plus months out from the MCAT, someone who is currently a pre-med with this also three months or more out, who's able to use it. Because a way that you can be going through your pre-med coursework is, at least I heard a lot in my pre-med post back, you know, is this high yield, is this gonna be on the MCAT? You can spend 15, 20 minutes a day when you learn something new in chem, phys, bio, biochem, and orgo, go to the UWorld book, go through the couple pages that it's on, annotate your notes and add on the UWorld-esque, the MCAT-esque, and you have everything right here, which is, this is the level that you should know it. I will say, and I'll go some specifics in some other books, there's stuff that's like way too much, but generally, if you know this information and you can tie it in with your coursework, you'll probably get better grades in your undergrad course, depending on how the exams are written. And then I think you'd also get a better score in the MCAT because you're tying in two different informations, what you're learning on the exam and then for the actual like pre-med course, but then also you're getting the MCAT prep. So then when you start this question bank, you already know a lot of the material that UWorld is testing. And so you're not learning during your dedicated period, you're enhancing your things during your dedicated period. Okay, so thanks so much for sticking with this video. I hope it was helpful to see how uh, just generally these UWorld MCAT books can help you during your MCAT preparation. I'll be doing some future videos on the specific books, book content, how to use them more thoroughly throughout your pre-med course, and then during your dedicated, how to set up these books so you can have the best success for the MCAT.